result was a special frame set, which featured chrome branding instead of the usual black, with a mishmash of Shimano parts combining Dura Ace, GRX, and Otegra parts he had laying about. He shaved off nearly an hour of the fastest known time for the rough out. For the Growlock, Swift opted for a rather road oriented overall setup. His pedals are SPDs, and the group set only featured Shimano Scrabble specific GRX components at the brake calipers. The overall group set of Swift Scrabble consists of decade old chrome door Ace shifters, Otegra D.2, rear derailleur, and Otegra chain set. The compact 5034T. Chain rings are paired with an 1134T set. Swift had the rear shifting handled by the Otegra D.2 derailleur, which is not gravel specific and doesn't feature a clutch that helps keep the chain tight and in place on rough surfaces. Swift did suffer a couple of mechanicals related to the electronic shifting and the chain dropping during the race, so perhaps he'll switch to a clutch actuated derailleur in future races. The conditions for the race course were dry and dusty, so Swift had wrapped the Dura Ace wheel set with Continental Jarrah Speed tires in 40mm width. Swift was aiming to have around 35 psi in the tubeless tires on race day. The cockpit, that Swift said he took off his training bike, features a 400mm wide, flared handlebar paired with a 130mm stem. Swift used a Garmin 1040 solar cycling computer for data harvesting. The saddle was the Physic 3.D. Printed Darko Adaptive, and stashed underneath it is a pro saddle bag that houses some more spares in addition to the C.02 canister mounted on the bottle cage. For the 113 kilometers long race bottle cages with two 750 milliliters bottles filled with SIS bait half fuel, his pockets were packed with the brand's gels and shoes. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.